Let's talk two-dimensional motion projectile simulation. So we are trying to analyze two-dimensional motion. And the way we're doing that is by looking at this projectile motion simulator, this guy right here, and watching this motion and adjusting what this sim does. Mm -hmm. So keep in mind, we can turn on our buttons, trace the path. We can show which way acceleration is show which way the velocity is at different points. And keep in mind that we can also, let's see, pause things like that. And when we do, we can then fast forward and rewind. All right, so if you get all the way to the end, I believe those little fast forward rewind, yeah, they, they disappear. But you can always just run it again to get those to show up. Once you pause, You'll see the fast forward and rewind. So that's our simulator. <clears throat> and uh, first we want to use the language of math to describe the path. Well, so when you're thinking about that, really what you want to be thinking about is the stuff in this table, right? In the X direction, what do you know? What do you know about velocity? Is there acceleration? In the Y direction, what do you know about the velocity? Is it changing or constant? What do you know about the acceleration? Is there any? There is, so talk about it. Um, and then these questions here are meant to help you kind of think about those things, but bit by bit. Is the horizontal velocity constant or changing? Is the vertical velocity constant or changing? And if you think about uh, that stuff, if you think about the warm up, really that was meant to help you think about the questions there. What else? Same question with the acceleration. What's happening there? Uh, answer these with complete sentences. Be as detailed as possible. Is the distance that it falls affected by the horizontal velocity? Right? Is the distance that it falls downwards affected by the horizontal velocity? So, right, some people have an idea that when things are moving horizontally, they fall slower. So if we watch this guy from the warm-up, we can see that these two balls get launched at the same time, and they both hit the ground at the same time, even though one is moving horizontally like this, and the other one is just moving straight down like that so you can talk about that as well moving on for angled launch so that's what i showed in our little demonstration you want to just put your thing back on the ground and try out some different angled launches and then answer these questions that are in here um does that change anything where is the vertical velocity zero all right so think about the path all right, I'm talking about like that. Where is the vertical velocity, the upwards component, zero? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. What else? This question, we've asked this question a number of times. Hopefully you know the answer by now and can say why that is either true or false. And uh, then I want you to pick a launch speed and try some different stuff. So for that, it's good to pick a speed that's relatively high so that the projectile actually goes up. Um, and what we're going to do is try a bunch of different angles. So you're going to fill in this data table uh, and write down the displacement. Where's the horizontal displacement? Horizontal displacement is right down here where it says X displacement. So when I launch this, right, this is reading off, do to do to do, and it gets me a total. Um, that's what you're going to write down in your table over here. You also want to look at some other stuff. Uh, see which one gets you the furthest range, right? So that's going to be the stuff from the data table here. And describe what else you see. See if there's any patterns. Like, are any of the times the same? Um, or are they different? What happens there? So look at those things, and then write a little summary statement at the end and discuss the motion of projectiles. All right? So talk about all these different things. Okay, that's it. Do well.